Hello from HP Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to run some quick benchmarks on a Cyanogen Mod 7.0 Release Candidate 2. It's running on a T-Mobile G2 and it's overclocked to 1.5 using set CPU. I have it set for performance and I don't have any profile set for these tests. So let's start off with Limpack. Got a 51.813. 52, 52, those are great Limpack scores. Let's check Quadrant. And I'm also going to run SmartBench 2010 and 2011 on this because they gauge CPU and everything differently now. And when I did the release candidate one, I did it on 2010, but in the future I'm going to start doing all my tests on 2011. But I want to do both just to be fair to the original release candidate. And I'm going to run all the graphic uh, benchmarks last. That way if you're just worried about the processor, you can stop the video after I run uh, SmartBench 2010 and 11. Now I just installed this, but I have rebooted a few times, restored my apps, and Dalvik Cash has had time to rebuild. So the scores should be pretty good. 2182. Uh, let me run Task Killer, and then we'll run that again, because last time I got a 2700 on it, running 1.5. So, see if maybe I had some things running in the background. Uh, this is also... Cyan and Jamad's release candidate 2 is uh, based on Android 2.3.3. So he did put the uh, extra update for, for the Nexus S in there. And for some different phones, you get different features with it. Seems to be a bit faster this time. See the frame rate? And 2107. So benchmark score is not quite as good as the last release candidate, but he did just throw a lot of code into it. Right now we're running Smart Bench 2011. One of my favorite benchmark programs. I actually changed 2011. It calculates scores differently. That's why if you compare it to results from 2010, it'll show differently. It's supposedly more accurate now. But this is a good reason to stick with Quadrant because they use pretty much the same standards all the way through. All right, let's display the index scores. And on the productivity index, you get 1459. And on the uh, game index, we've got 1603. So not horrible, but like I said, we'll see what it looks like on 2010 because it's slightly different. This is a SmartBench 2010. This is the one that I used to benchmark uh, the previous version with.
All right, let's display our scores. On the productivity index, we get 1215, and on the games index, we get 1768. But as you can look through and see some of the other results, the scores are almost completely different between the two. Uh, let's see. Let's run Task Killer. And now we'll run some graphic benchmarks. We'll run Nina Mark, which just at the end we'll give a frames per second. forty five point eight that's pretty good I don't quite remember what it was last time but uh, I'll link the old video to the bottom and you can check yourself if you'd like to the original release candidate now we're gonna run NeoCore the Qualcomm uh, Adreno GPU benchmark fifty six point seven frames per second that's nice uh... now we'll run fps 2d of course very simple one i average usually between fifty seven and fifty nine on this so see what we get which i do notice some drop off in red in this one which i don't usually get 58 it's pretty decent so there you go just wanted to run some quick benchmarks on it uh, I'm gonna try to run this ROM for a couple days and give you a little overview video of it if it's not too buggy cuz uh, if it's too buggy I'm just gonna switch back to my old ROM so keep a lookout for that video and uh, hopefully everything's nice and stable and I'll be able to get you a nice review video in the next couple days thanks